Hey guys, to all my uh, English speaking friends, uh, we are the 23rd, Monday, the 23rd of January. It is 8 25 a.m. here in Memphis, Tennessee. So I'm just giving you uh, a Caleb's ministry update. Many of you have prayed diligently, specifically, intentionally for this past weekend, knowing that Caleb was, was receiving what we call Thyatepa, and that required many baths. So basically, it was over 40 hours. So we had 40 diaper changes and we had 10 dressing changes on him. We had to wake him up every four hours, uh, even during the night. So it finished this morning at midnight. Uh, and uh, we just want to tell you guys that the Lord really put his hand on Caleb and on Louie and I to be able to have... Uh, the courage and patience and for Caleb as well to have this resilience despite the waking up every time every time every time every time he could have been much more on cooperative and he was not so so thank you for that I can just make you guys laugh a bit every time Louie and I were giving the baths at you know at, <laughs> at 1 a.m. and at 5 a.m. and <laughs> giving him his bath we, I thought we were just like Naaman. <laughs> he had to go and just dip himself seven times in the, in that little pond that the prophet told him to go. <laughs> I said, man, we're just giving this bath. People might think we're crazy. Every four hours, we've got to wash them. But that's what they're telling us to do. So that's what we're doing. So we're praying that by God's mercy, um, God can bring healing through this situation. Today's a new day, so we're going to split it in half. So we're going to split, I'm going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Caleb, and then we're going to finish up with Marjolaine. So Caleb today, last day of chemo, he's receiving two types of chemo. He's receiving what we call Melphalan, the same one that he received yesterday, and he's receiving uh, Rituximab, Rituximab. So both chemos are potentially, uh, well, are very strong chemos. That means the the uh, the height of nausea and vomiting is present so just pray that we can control his nausea during the day so it doesn't come overwhelming and overbearing and that he can't function anymore so that's one big prayer we, we never forget to pray for infections uh, because his cancer like you know are at zero so he's in aplasia so you know, we always pray for that God preserves them from virus infection, viral infection, bacterial infection, fungal infections. So that is one uh, very big prayer request as well. So that is for Caleb for today. So last day of chemo might be the last day of chemo of his life. We pray that might be the case that we don't have to go down this avenue once more. Now concerning my wife, Marjolaine. Marjolaine has been receiving what we call GCSF, and what that does is that it puts your marrow on overdrive, and she feels it all up in her bones, and she's hurting. She even has sometimes uh, difficulty walking in the morning. It's like if you would have like this very strong... Uh, flu or she's really aching and hurting in the bones so please pray for comfort for her because today will be the day that she gives her first round of stem cells so it's bone marrow but it's stem cells that are received in the peripheral blood so what they will do to Marjolaine today is that she will have to sit in a chair for six to eight hours and they're going to be collecting her blood through a aphores machine it looks like a dialysis machine but it's an aphores machine and what it does is that it separates the 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 red blood cells and the platelets and all these different types of cells that they need to work with to be able to collect it and then to give to caleb uh for his uh, bone marrow that he's going to be receiving the first part tomorrow. So for Marjolaine, it's, very, it's a tedious uh, time. It's long time. So pray for general comfort for her. Pray for peace. Pray for joy. Pray for rest for her. 
pray that she may just feel that, you know, uh, everything that she's giving by God's mercy, by God's grace, it will be sufficient um, to be able to help Caleb to overcome this cancer once and for all. So it's a very emotional day. So, uh, and it's very hard because she can't move for six to eight hours. So be much in prayer for her. What she is doing today, she will have to do it tomorrow as well. So uh, that is the major part for Marjolaine. Another big part, us knowing that we are Christians and we believe in the fallacy of our own hearts and, that, and, and, and in human error, that that can happen. I'm asking you guys to pray specifically for the people that are going to, that are going to be manipulating the blood. Because after Marjolaine gives all of her stem cells, it goes into a laboratory here that's on site, and then they work with it to make it as best as they can for Caleb. So just pray that that process goes smoothly, that the Lord can just put his hand on that, and that there might not be any technical errors that would force Marjolaine to probably give blood again, but that the Lord can just put his sovereign, good, and gracious hand on on this situation not just today in this afternoon when they're going to do it when but the day after because they're going to tweak the process a bit they're going to do this new type of process so just that the lord in by his grace and in his sovereignty could just straighten our paths and that the lord can give everything that is excellent to caleb and uh, nothing has to be redone once more uh, or the blood is not good and then we have to discard it. It has happened in the past. This is why I'm telling you guys this. They say that it's a very, uh, uh, you know, um, low percentage, but I'm still letting you guys know that this is something that, that can happen and we understand that people are people and we can make errors. So we just pray the one who's in charge <laughs> of all people <laughs> to sovereignly guide and direct and to do his excellent work. We are very grateful to our Lord God Almighty who sustains us, who does over everything that we could ever imagine. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. We are thankful for you guys. Thank you for fighting with us. Uh, uh, people think that the battle is finished now that he will receive it, but... <laughs> <laughs> let's not be mistaken the battle is commencing the Lord can do something very great he can take this these stem cells and make them do what they're supposed to do quickly and he can limit a lot of the reactions the negative reactions that could that could happen we've seen it happen in other people so we I will do a subsequent video in the next day or two days just to tell you guys about the reactions that he can have after he receives uh, the bone marrow transplant from his mom. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you guys. In Jesus' name.